The former SNP MP, Margaret Ferrier, has lost her seat in Rutherglen and Hamilton West following a successful recall petition. Her conviction for breaking COVID rules and subsequent suspension from Parliament gave her constituents the opportunity to vote on whether to force a by-election. And tonight, she has announced that she will not be standing. Well, our Scotland correspondent, Connor Gillis, joins us now live. So, Connor, it's good to have you with us. So, we've seen the statement now from Margaret Ferrier. What she had to say? Well, this has... Uh, essentially now come at the end of Margaret Ferrier's parliamentary career. There have been repeated claims uh, over the years from her political opponents for her to do, in their words, the honourable thing and stand down. Let's remember Nicola Sturgeon, the SNP leader at the time, the former First Minister of Scotland, said that this was the worst breach imaginable. Her actions were reckless, they were dangerous, completely indefensible. What did she do? Well, she travelled to Westminster while she was waiting on a coronavirus test coming in. When that returned a positive result, instead of uh, isolating, she boarded a uh, train back north to Scotland to that constituency in South Lanarkshire. She faced a criminal trial where she was found guilty and uh, was subjected to community service. That then triggered this uh, recall petition allowing her constituents to have six weeks where they could decide whether they wanted to boot her out of that seat. And that news came in earlier on, 11,896 votes, so almost 12,000 people in that area, around 14% of the participants, the constituents there in that part of the world, came out over the course of the last number of weeks and decided, yes, they did want to get rid of her. Now, despite not taking part in any media interviews or any discussions, any debates over the course of the last number of years, and again, resisting those resignation calls, uh, Margaret Ferrier has acknowledged tonight that this is the end of the road. Let's have a look at the statement she's issued to Sky News in the last few minutes. She has said, I respect the outcome of the petition. Uh, it has been the privilege of my life to serve as the Member of Parliament for Rutherglen and Hamilton West. I've always put my job and my constituents first and I am disappointed that this will now come to an end. I decided some time ago, she says, that I will not stand in the upcoming by-election. This has been a difficult and taxing process that has now come to its conclusion and I do not wish to prolong it further. And she concludes, I would like to thank my team for their loyalty and continued dedication to supporting me in delivering for my constituents. So that from Margaret Ferrier, the last few minutes. Now, this uh, is a by-election that's looming where the stakes are very high. This is a key test for both Labour and the SNP for very different reasons. Labour clearly only have one MP in Scotland at the moment. Let's remember this was a party that was once dominant in Scotland, particularly in Scotland's central belt area, uh, were wiped out a number of years ago due to the dominance here in Scotland of the SNP. They will be looking to regain some of that reputation that they've lost over the last few years and capitalising on the SNP's misfortunes, where there's major pressure on the new uh, First Minister, Hamza Youssef. Clearly, it's been a trying few months for him as well, and the party who found themselves at the centre of a police investigation. The former First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, arrested. Her husband, arrested. The party's treasurer, arrested. All released without charge. So the stakes are very high in this, and we should uh, find out exactly when uh, this uh, by-election will happen sometime in the coming days, but as expected in early autumn. Yeah, trying time indeed. Connor, do appreciate that. Thank you.